Hi, this is Marie Lazara from LLN Reports by the Link Local Network. Link locally, connect globally. And I am with uh, another good person that I've known for a long time, Lisa Snipes. Oh, Lisa. Uh, she, you are Vice President uh, and Development for Serenity House, which yes. is a nonprofit organization uh, that is devoted to giving services to adult men and women recovering from clinical, I'm sorry, chemical dependence chemical and substance dependence. abuse. <laughs> Forgive me, you are based right. in Addison. Maybe you could give us a little brief overview of your uh, organization. Sure. Uh, thank you, Marie, for having me today. Um, yes, Serenity House has been in operation since 1985. Um, we've been providing uh, services for uh, adult men and women over the age of 18 in both intensive outpatient, outpatient and residential programs. Uh, we work with men and women who can afford the programs the most, uh, but can afford it, the, or need the programs the most, but can afford it the least. And uh, we were founded by Henry Toos, who was our past president and founder. Uh, he had a, a vision uh, to start Serenity House when no one else could or would. And uh, we're very, very proud that he was able to accomplish this mission. Lisa, how many men and women are, are, you, are in your organization as clients? We serve about 200 men and women residentially and probably an additional 150 to 200 people in our outpatient services programs. Now what are your recovery uh, programs? I believe there are two. We do. We have two programs. Our first program is our extended residential care program and that's actually a 90-day program. Uh, that's what we, it's a 90-day program is the uh, requested stay. And then we also have the other program, which is a little less structured, and that would be our recovery home program. And in that program, it's transitional housing with supportive services for up to two years. What is the major, major addiction or addictions that is uh, afflicting people today? Um, I would say probably the biggest drug of choice that we work with right now is heroin. Uh, 25 years ago, most of the men and women who came into our programs, it was alcohol and perhaps marijuana. Uh, but the last five years, uh, 10 or five years, it was really, it's been heroin. Uh, the men and women that we worked with 20 years ago uh, were older, 30s, 40s, 50s. The young people, and they are young people, uh, today are 18 to 24 years old and the drug of abuse is heroin. Uh, it's, it's been quite, quite an epidemic for us in the DuPage County area. Uh, I mean, how do you get that message out to, to say to these people that heroin is going to wreck your life. Uh, I mean, wow, yeah. I, I, you know? I wish there was a way that we could just blanket the community and let them know that this is a drug that is not, this is a drug that just don't start. Just don't start. Um, I wish there was a way that we could really just tell people how devastating this particular drug, I mean any drug, but this particular drug uh, could be for, for an individual and their families. Now Lisa, uh, briefly, could you please tell us about the fundraiser that's coming up in April? Absolutely. This fundraiser is taking place on April 20th. It will be at the Empress Banquets at 6 o'clock in Addison, Illinois. And this is the only fundraiser that we have each year. It's a very important one for Serenity House in this time of you know uh, the economy and with state funding being decreased. And Lisa, how can people find out about uh, Serenity House? The best way would be to go to our website. And our website is at serenityhouse.com or they can call 630-620-6616. Well, Lisa, thank you so much for coming on our show. This is Marie Lazara from LLN Reports. Link locally, connect globally.